everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be working on some cable stitches. I have uh, already worked a tutorial on a straight cable. You can check it out on my crochet stitches playlist. Today we're going to work on a twisted cable. This uh, crochet cable is quite fun and fairly easy to work. Once you get the hang of it, it creates a great texture on the one side. Cables are quite versatile so you can stick them into any project anywhere as long as you have the right number of stitches. For this uh, stitch tutorial today I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook or an H8 as well as a little bit of 100% cotton yarn. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Links to these items is in the description of this video. Also in the description, you will find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of the other crochet stitch tutorial videos and free crochet patterns. This channel is updated every week on Sunday mornings with new free crochet stitches. Our stitch today is worked in rows, and as I mentioned, uh, cable stitches are quite versatile so as far as multiples are concerned if you're going to work one of these twisted cables you're only going to need a multiple of five stitches. Now today I'm going to be working three cables in a row and I've added some stitches in between. I've added three stitches actually in between. So today I'm going to start by chaining 28 which will allow me to have three cables with five stitches each and then three stitches in between each cable. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot and then by working my foundation chain and I'm going to start by chaining 28. Once you have that foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. For row two, you're going to work a half double crochet into this first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you are working these cables, you will always have a return row, so a row that takes you back to the beginning. That is a row of half double crochet stitches. So we're going to work our half double crochet stitches all the way across back to the beginning of our work when we turn it so that our right side is facing. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You now once again have the right side facing. We're going to start working some of our twisted cable texture. So what we're going to do is start by working a half double crochet in each of the first three stitches. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and working around the post of the next stitch but two rows below, you're going to work a front post double treble. So skip these next three stitches and you have your next stitch here, but we're going to work around the post of the stitch directly below that stitch. So yarn over three times, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook around the post of that next stitch from front through to the back, out through the front again. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. 
That's your front post double treble stitch. You're going to have it crossed all the way across here in the front of your work. You're now going to work a front post double treble stitch around the post of the next stitch two rows below. So yarn over three times. Bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again, around the post of the next stitch, two rows below, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. You now have two crossed front post treble stitches worked. Now up top, because these two stitches sort of count for the next two stitches, you're going to skip the two stitches of the previous round or previous row and work a half double crochet into your next stitch. We're now going to work two more front post double treble stitches, this time working back into the first and second skipped stitches. So you have these two skip stitches up top, the two stitches directly below those two stitches. The first two skip stitches, two rows below, reach back, beginning with the first one that you skipped, insert your hook around the post of that first skip stitch, work a double treble stitch. You're going to work one more double treble stitch around the next skipped stitch two rows below. These stitches are then crossing in front of the other two front post double treble stitches that you worked. Then up top you're skipping these next two stitches and working a half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. just like so. So you should have a crossed treble, front post treble stitches there. You're then going to repeat that. So skip the next three stitches and then into the post of the next stitch, two rows below, insert your hook, work a front post double treble stitch. You're going to work another front post double treble stitch around the post of the next stitch, two rows below. Next, up top you have two skip stitches, half double crochet into the next stitch. Now working over the three into the first two of the three previous skip stitches, two rows below, you're going to work a front post double treble around that first skip stitch, two rows below, followed by another front post double treble around the post of the next skip stitch, two rows below. Up top, you've worked two more stitches, so up top half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you now have the beginning of two twisted cable. We're going to do it one more time, skip the next three stitches into the stitch directly two rows below, work a front post treble, repeat that for the next skip stitch, or for the next stitch two rows below, up top half double crochet into your next stitch, Now working over the first two of the skipped stitches, two rows below, work one front post double treble around the first one.
and a front post double treble around the post of the next skip stitch two rows below. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the final three stitches. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And as I mentioned before, after each cable stitch row, you're simply going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. Now at the end of row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And as far as the repeats in the pattern is concerned, that was it. You're going to simply repeat your row two, which we just worked, which is our half double crochet row, followed by a row three, which is our cable row. The difference being that when you're working into the repeats of row three, you're now only working into your front post cable stitches that are two rows below. So I'll show you what I mean here. Start off your repeat of row three by working a half double crochet in each of the first three stitches. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and around the post of the stitch two rows below, which becomes your first cable stitch, you're going to work your front post double treble. So you're just inserting your hook around the first front post double treble stitch two rows below and working your double treble and then working a front post double treble stitch around the post of the stitch next stitch two rows below. Up top you're working a half double crochet into the next stitch and now working in front of the two cross stitches you just worked and into the post or around the posts of the first two skipped stitches you're going to work a front post double treble so come on all the way back insert your hook around the post of that first skipped post stitch and then once more work a double treble front post double treble around the post of the next skip stitch two rows below. Up top, half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You'll continue to repeat row three all the way down the line, chain one, turn your work, repeat row two. And that's all there is, so you can see your twisted cable coming out nicely there. So that's all there is for working this twisted cable pattern. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe if you happen to work some twisted cables. Feel free to tag me on social media. I love to come by and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.